Salut, sunt Lăcusute. Hello, servus. Servus. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Sebastian, just arrived from Transylvania, from Cluj. Yeah. To help us understand what's the fashion, what was the fashion like in Transylvania, which is uh, a part of Romania. Because I heard this question, somebody asked me, and where is Romania located? R Romania is in Transylvania. Mm, so, very nice. <laughs> in a way. <laughs> Why not? So Transylvania is a region in Romania and um, okay. in terms of uh, variety of ethnographic regions and centers and influence, it's much more complicated than that. Transylvania is not one piece. Yes. And um, first of all, I want to say that in, Transyl in Romania, there are over 120 ethnographic regions. Each region has its own costume, its tradition, and so on. Of course, they are related and make a, a whole, but uh, so this kind of map cannot uh, summon all the, the no, regions. No, this is for beginners, yes. for people like us who want to understand um, why some costumes seem to be different from others, although they are in Transylvania. So the traditional uh, clothes are not a uniform. Yes. They are not a standard. The, yes, that's very important. And Transylvania is um, somewhere around here. But we divide it further in Banat and Krishana and Maramureș and Doaș and south of Transylvania. And we go further into smaller, smaller yes. regions with their own... Um, we have to say that, that there are uh, historical reasons for uh, differenti differentiating these uh, regions, but uh, we can consider Transylvania either all this part from uh, over the mountains, uh, including Banat, Krishana uh, and Maramureș, and uh, also from a uh, historic point of view, we can consider Transylvania only in uh, between the mountains. It's important to say this, but it's a longer discussion. Okay. And um, for quite a long of time, Transylvania was part of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. And um, there were um, different waves of migrations of, over Romania in general. Yes. Uh, we don't have enough fingers to count how many several tribes passed by or remained here for a while. From Goths, Avars, Bulgar, Kuman, Tatar, Turk, uh, Uyghur, um, so. Hung yes, Huns, so. yes. uh, Saxons, uh, Roma, Jews, Polish, Slovak. Uh, um, we have a little bit of... <laughs> yes, uh, Transylvania Greece, is a very Italians. multicultural region. And uh, there are regions where uh, they still live over 22, 24 different ethnographic groups. Okay. Like Banat or... Um, there were several uh, waves of Ukrainian uh, people coming into Romania. It's not the first time they yes. seek for refugees. It's very important that what, ha what is happening today as we see uh, people from Ukraine trying to find refuge, temporary or not. Yes. Uh, it happened for, uh, for centuries. And we have Ukrainian villages from previous migrations um, because they, history is tough. History yes, is not. Uh, um, yes. Okay, so this was um, um, some sort of um, um, visual map, visual guideline, trying to explain um, to people looking into traditional clothes for the first time. This was made almost 10 years ago. And I was trying to explain that in Transylvania, we don't really have so much Kamasu Kualtica, the shirt with a uh, shoulder. But in the south of Transylvania, we find some, yes. uh, some, some in the in, in west, in the vicinity uh, of the variant. Moldova, in, yes. in the old versions. Yes. Uh, in the south part of Transylvania, we find this shirt, but the older type. Yes. The, um, um, so I tried briefly to bring five types, to define roughly five types of shirts to be found in Transylvania. And I wanted to express that um, from a glance, people must understand that we have excess of fabric, extra large sleeves. And we sometimes have for the bridal shirts, we have 
excess of fabric also for the body because fine fabric was a sign of status. How was the life of the peasants in Transylvania? Were they um, well? Um, there are big differences between uh, neighboring regions uh, because uh, the um, limit of the empire was um, in, in better position. They have some privileges uh, and nowadays we know these regions uh, by the name Marginime. Marginime in Romanian means the uh, margin of the, the, the border of the empire and the people in that region have responsibilities to, um, to keep, the borders. keep the borders, to fight for the empire, so they were uh, rewarded with this uh, uh, better uh, social and the political uh, condition. So they, they have different costumes because of this. Some other regions were very poor and uh, the um, uh, geography of the place uh, was very uh, difficult. For instance, in a uh, higher part of the mountains, uh, they were, were, the agriculture was very limited and uh, yes. the means of production. Although images today present Transylvania as being a place with a um, um, lot of biodiversity and with the fertility of the soil, when we compare the land in Transylvania with the land in the south, with it, which is black soil, Cernozium. Yes. Cernozium uh, black soil. Uh, Transylvania, for me, uh, born in Bucharest, Transylvania looks like not really a vegetable place or uh, such a good place for agriculture. And it is. Uh, it depends from region to region. Uh, depends where you are. Yes, we have good are. wines in Transylvania. <laughs> okay. So uh, I see there is a different climate, slightly different resources, and um, different uh, trade, different goods uh, yes. brought into the um, commercial Being centers. part of the empire, this uh, brought us different and goods, yes. Um, also what I see different, uh, I see that in Transylvania, you, Transylvania, which was called Siebenburgen, um, I see so many guilds, which is a concept not familiar in the south and eastern Romania, where uh, you'd have people to able to work um, for you, maybe a uh, sheepskin vest or some boots or something. Yes. But these guilds were, um, part of the guilds were Roma uh, not Romanians. They were the Saxons and uh, the Hungarians. Romanians were not allowed. Uh, guilds were, um, uh, uh, have a um, political status uh, until uh, the revolution in uh, 1848, but they still have power even to the uh, end of the 19th century. But uh, Romanians started to make in the middle of the 19th century different associations or okay. organizations, and they learn from uh, that from those guilds uh, the So they the started crafts. to get in inspired. Yes, yes. And, uh, in and both in terms of uh, organizing themselves. Yes. But also in terms of... The techniques of and also the uh, patterns and uh, the art of... Uh, how to make, um, uh, how to value craft in terms of making it a profession. Yes. Because yes. in the south of Romania, in the east, everybody was performing craft as a necessity and further as a, a relaxation method during the winter, let's say, or something like that. Yeah. Occupation. <laughs> I don't yes, know how occupation. much they were relaxed. But it was um, uh, very personal. They took craft very personally. Yes. Or in Transylvania, people got inspired to have a profession related to crafts. Yes. And this is why now through this project, which is called Tracks for Crafts, we are looking and in the South. Uh, we don't really know how to start to create such organizations and guilds because we perform crafts as a, the most natural thing. And we don't know how to organize into guilds mm -hmm. or associations. Yes. So um, this comes with goods and bads. Yes, of course. But that's why maybe we find in Transylvania so much sheepskin coats, okay. as you said before. And uh, ethnographers consider uh, that uh, this is an influence from the Saxon arts, which were uh, organized in guilds. In guilds. Okay, but what about the shirts and the aprons? Um, 
of Romanians. Okay, I go and I buy a sheepskin vest or I place an order. Right? Yes. This is most common. I place yes. an order. Yes, yes. Uh, the sheepskin vests are not waiting for me on a No, of shelf. course not, yes. I go, I place an order with a specific... I can choose within a certain... Um, range of patterns for my region or...? Uh, usually the... Um, uh, Meister. Meister, Meister, yes, uh, are from nearby. Uh, you, and they know the specific of your region. And they will make the sheepskin uh, according to your uh, uh, ethnicity and your region. They know very well. And also they will embroid more or less uh, according to your financial possibility. Okay, so we have this maestro, maestro, um, and he's performing along, probably along with his wife. Yes. Or usually, his yes. family. Yes. Uh, yes. It's uh, something that was passed from uh, in, uh, in kept, kept in the family and yes. passed from generation to generation. And um, what about the rest of the clothes? Um, the the rest of the clothes was uh, mainly made in uh, homemade. So in, in they have looms and every uh, woman, uh, usually women, uh, make the fabric and also the embroidery for shirts and for uh, aprons. Yes. Uh, of course, uh, we can see in, in this picture that uh, we have also uh, bought materials for aprons, the two girls in the middle. And it's, not, uh, it, it's important why this uh, have that uh, aprons because these were very young ladies who have uh, to show their uh, status in, in the society. They go to uh, balls, to dance, uh, joke, as we say in Romanian, and they have to show off. So you've been uh, in this region of uh, the foresters, Padureni, um, in the past years, and you told me that it took you um, 20 kilometers to walk through the forest to arrive to this place. So when you show off such an apron, it means that you, not only that you had money to go to the fair and buy some things, but you had the means, somebody helped you to go through the forest. I mean, it was an adventure to go to a city to buy a new skirt. Yes, uh, sometimes um, merchants come in the villages. Oh, really? Yes, and mm -hmm. uh, they spread uh, threads, colors, uh, fabrics, beads, uh, and, and so the fashion materials. in your village is influenced by the me the type of products the the um, merchant uh, merchant is bringing to you. Yes, yes. So if the merchant is not bringing you red, you don't have red thread available. Yes, and sometimes you we can see that uh, uh, there are regions where uh, everybody uses the same uh, colors exactly the same colors and uh, the same ratio of colors because uh, they uh, sell uh, five pieces of red, two yellow, one yellow, two blue, and so they, they sell you uh, a the recipe. Formula, uh, a yes, formula, a formula for, uh, yes. for these threads. And this formula obviously is dictated by the producer who has an, in stock a certain quantity of each color and is dividing this let me yes, tell you, yes, because of I realized that I can also influence the colors in our time and I was inspired and I, I thought that um, I wouldn't break a law or a rule if I do this, if mm -hmm. I uh, prepare packages with certain uh, colors. Yes. I realized this happened in the past yes, and I, of course. I can do it. And the reason, I think, one of the reasons they do this is also an aesthetic reason. They knew how to combine colors because they uh, have. Uh, they had experience. I mean, if you are a producer, and, uh, you even uh, studies on arts. You know, the uh, those in Germany who in Frankfurt who make uh, two hundred years ago uh, these uh, colored uh, threads. They know a little bit about art, and this is a way we 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 are used to hear about uh, Baroque influence in uh, traditional art. But how? this uh, influence is uh, manifest. One way is this one, is this way. Eventually through trade. Yes. Because uh, commerce will find the response, um, mas material response to a certain fashion or um, 
a change in society, yes. in of thinking, course. in emancipation, in everything. But um, from the previous photo, I removed the old generation and I brought here um, two Ukrainian girls mm -hmm. from the north of the country, from, um, from the mountains, which at some point found refuge in uh, Banat area. Okay. Mm -hmm. What can we see uh, here? Can we see that the, um, they have also aprons uh, created uh, with uh, printed fabric? Yes, and the sleeves are very similar, but are not the same. Yes. yes. This is a very uh, good uh, example of uh, uh, art, traditional art, which uh, flows through personal and uh, ethnic uh, uh, filter. So, uh, most probably, uh, if we look at the waves of migrations of Ukrainian people in Romania, we see that uh, there are times that match the photography. So, we might wonder if the, some teenagers like this or girls like this got into contact with a um, new la new arrivals, yes. right? And um, they exchanged uh, jokes, habits, fashion. Yes, of course, and we have uh, plenty of examples like this one. Yes, and um, usually it goes both ways. We can see how Romanian taste in fashion influenced uh, Ukrainian population outside the borders. Even today we can see Ukrainian ladies following our group and getting our mm -hmm. patterns. So it's not something unusual and not something that we would call cultural appropriation because no, it's a not. fair exchange and we always filter uh, what is inspiring yes. us. So um, this is uh, also another example of a Ukrainian mm -hmm. lady arrived into uh, the western, southwestern part of the country from Transcarpathia, further south, and we can see the old fashion is, yeah, it is very different and uh, we can quickly make, um, we can easily locate them. Yes, yes. Um, Be since there we are similarities uh, between the two shirts, but the uh, apron is, uh, the, the sheepskin uh, vest is uh, similar to the Maramures one, so. So obviously it's, uh, it can show how, uh, um, thinking about the past, we can imagine that 100 years ago is very old in the past. But imagine there were trains, there were oh, uh, yes. Even telephones. cars, <laughs> there were phones, right? Yes. And my grandparents were uh, yes. alive and they were going to school yeah, in this time. And, so. uh, there were very important uh, economic uh, routes and uh, international uh, relationships, uh, very similar to those uh, nowadays. So it's not such a different society, or even in the we there are 100 years ago. But um, here is an image showing um, how ladies processing uh, hemp. So we can see the homemade. Um, fabric yes in the making from the beginning from the first uh, this stage. is one was one of, one of the most important activity in uh, uh, traditional uh, household uh, making fabric from seed to shirt yes and this is one of the multiple steps they have to go through um, it's called melitza yes to chop off the um, uh, plant in yes. order to remove the big Wood, chunks wooden of part, yes, uh, lignin part. And yeah, yes. and keep the fiber uh, for further processing. And uh, how do you learn? From watching your mother, first of all. It's the first um, step into uh, textile education. Yes. You have to watch your mother, then next you have to help your mother. I think at that age uh, she knows already how to do. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like, yeah, yeah, I know this yes, thing. Yes, of course. Um, yeah. Okay. We can, see the, uh, we can see the whole family here. 
and uh, the sheepskin vest. Yes, and also not uh, sheepskin, but uh, fabric vest. Uh, for, for the, the younger. For the younger, I guess, or modern vest. For a teenager. Yes, very beautiful shirts, everybody. have beautiful costume in this picture, I love this one. <laughs> Uh, but let's talk about the um, haircut and the... Um, Big fashion, attention oil. accorded to this haircut. Uh, it You'd have long hair of, as a woman, most... Yes, but most sometimes you, you help your hair with... Uh, with additional... Um, wool or even uh, cotton. Horse. Even horse... Uh, in Maramureș I saw, yes. Um, so hair extensions is not invented oh, yeah. nowadays, <laughs> it happened. And um, do you have some wax? It was grease, goose grease uh, or what? Butter, butter? Uh, beer sometimes, uh, sugar uh, with water and different other... Uh, My grand-grandmother was using uh, walnut oil and almond oil, okay. because in the south <laughs> yes, there were different, they uh, kind of, yeah. different uh, resources. And here... Uh, well, you see, most probably this hair is not all uh, hers. <laughs> yeah. We have this kind of uh, objects in the museum, in the collection, uh, this kind of uh, tails, uh, hair tails. In, is this uh, bringing you memories uh, from uh, medieval Europe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> not that you live. Uh, yes. <laughs> you are not vampire. You didn't live so much. But <laughs> um, yes. From everything you've studied. I, I always uh, consider these are uh, there. There are similarities between uh, medieval uh, fashion. At least for the hair. Uh, yes, hair dresses are very similar. <laughs> okay. But um, she's um, she gave up on everything. Uh, I think this is uh, uh, everyday costume, not uh, holiday costume. And uh, she has something on. Uh, it's very. She has uh, some uh, hair dress, but not so spectacular for uh, uh, as for holidays. But uh, she's also. Uh, but for men, it's. Uh, even yes. nowadays, I mean, it's one is the big um, hat. Um, we can see here a little bit the red thread woven into the fabric, red or black. Sometimes red, sometimes black, sometimes mixed, yeah. and sometimes uh, a little blue and so on. But most usually red and red uh, thread is a universal sign of um, for included or worn for protection. Usually mm -hmm. around the wrists, this is the spring talisman, and yes. uh, around the neck, and around the neck, mm -hmm. uh, on the edges of the shirt, but sometimes for um, extra safety, you would include this red thread into the fabric. I mean, just to make sure everything is yes. covered. <laughs> um, what would be the danger in Transylvania? No, it's not. They're not afraid of vampires. Oh no, of course not. Vampires <laughs> and uh, it's. An they were afraid of. Invasion. Um, the Oki. Evil Eye. Evil Eye, Evil eye yes. and Envy. Um, uh, yes, Envy, this is very important in our uh, mythological uh, tradition. Um, and uh, different other um, creatures, uh, not vampires, but uh, other kind of uh, vulve, uh, strigoi, uh, and so on. Strigoi, really? Yes. I, I don't believe you. But Strigoi are not, were not attacking people, they were attacking the milk from the cows, first of all. Yes, uh, this is uh, even a, a more important uh, problem, uh, the milk from the animals, especially the cow. Yes. And uh, beautiful stories in our mythology about this. So take my blood, <laughs> but leave my cow alone, yes, eh? Yes, exactly. Okay. We can see this lady is uh, has a very generous neckline. Mm -hmm. a, generous opening for the shirt but we can see in the um, in the photo we can see that uh, the space is filled with basil or other uh, aromatic herbs mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. let's remember these people didn't have deodorant deodorant was not really invented and they yes. used um, aromatic plants 
instead of a perfume. Yes, and we know this also from uh, folklore, from uh, different songs. Yes, but because let, let's re, uh, let's remember or tell for those who don't know, if you pick up these plants in early morning when they are really fresh, not in the evening so much, yes, mostly in the morning, um, and if you um, squeeze or you smash a few leaves of marjoram or something or basil, the clean, not polluted air of the village would carry, and the breeze would carry this smell two houses, mm -hmm. because it happened to me close to Bucharest to go to the garden, to work in my garden, and I smashed some magiran, marjoram, mm -hmm. just for the sake of it, to enjoy the smell. And the neighbor, not my neighbor, the neighbor of my neighbor, was the roof, was on top of the house, on the roof, and she shouted, Ioana, are you here? Because I smell marjoram from you. That's so nice. imagine the smell was very strong, not mm -hmm. as we, we buy these plants from supermarket, they are frozen, they lose their smell, and we might wonder why would you carry basil and marjoram? Yes. Well, because you could feel them from 20, distance, meters, at yes. 20 meters at least. And um, here's a lady crushing uh, uh, mm. grains of, for wheat, yes. or she, is she making a ritual? Uh, I don't think it's a ritual, but it's interesting that she's doing this on a shirt and we do not know why but uh, maybe just because the not fabric is very yeah um, maybe and uh, the uh, shirt the fabric is very um, dense and uh, you don't lose the flower ah uh, okay <laughs> maybe um, the photo is very old it was damaged so this is why we can yeah. see here uh, i think this photo was made um, in the first 20 years of the 20th century, so it's very old. Um, we can see here ladies from... Uh, Bihor region, the Bihor, west part in of Transylvania. Krishana, the western fields of Transylvania, yes. which we will discuss separately because they are a story in themselves. They have different stories to tell. Mm -hmm. And we can see here uh, an impressive head cover Yes, from Banat region. I feel so lucky to, to be born uh, nowadays, <laughs> where I don't need to cover my hair unless I decide so. Yes. If I work in the garden, I would always cover my hair because um, in a few minutes I will have a lot of dust. So yes. it's also protection but for the hair because they could not, they didn't have uh, hot water coming to shower every, yes. every evening. Um, in a... Um, household in Romania, or at least this is what happened in the south, you get up in the morning, you go in the field at 5, 5 a.m., you start with the first daylight. First you have mm -hmm. a coffee, you check on the plants, and then at 5 o'clock you start working. Yes. You work until 11-ish, 11 half, yes. 12, and then you slow down, uh, you tend tomatoes or you do something. Then you have a first lunch, little lunch, and then you go to uh, into the shadow and rest until three o'clock or something years. because the sun is way too hot. Yeah. And then you work a lot until nine o'clock in the eight or nine in the evening. Yes. And then you wash. Then you take a shower and then you eat. You have dinner. This is yes. the big meal. And, and then you go to sleep. Or you go and uh, sew or uh, yes. work in a loom. So. Yeah, Sometimes so <laughs> the, day is the main end. shower or the main cleansing mm -hmm. is in the evening, not yes. so much in the morning. Um, this is uh, from another region. Yes, and we from notice, Bistrița region. Um, the head is not covered, but it's very rich. We have almost because three heads are, here. Uh, yes, these are uh, young uh, girls, so before marriage. Yes. And they go to... Uh, dance, uh, joc, uh, and this is the specific uh, headdress for young girls. Uh, they are made of uh, feathers, of uh, chicken feathers, black. Oh, yes. Black, black uh, hen. This yes. is also magic. Yes. Maybe is. they did a ritual for attracting this man because look, he's hypnotized. And she's looking at the mm -hmm. 
Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he also has a um, very... Peacock feathers, peacock. yes. So he's the peacock, she's the hen. Yes. Okay. Uh, at the point, they also change the feathers with peacock feathers, the girls also. But it's interesting, in uh, the second uh, part the of the <laughs> image, uh, we can see a modern uh, vest at that guy. This guy. So this is not a traditional, yeah. So this is a, a picture made in the uh, in a period where you can see in a village, uh, rural, traditional, and also uh, urban. Uh, but probably this happened in the villages even before the photo shoot. Yes. I mean, in you would see old and new in the same time. Uh, conflict or uh, harmony between generations because there is some sort of conflict and harmony also. Yes. It's Always in, in a balance. Um, here is um, an image from a fair or a holiday. I well, maybe know. it's a fair. I think it's a fair. Also in the West Plains of Romania. They are not dressed like for a wedding or for a big party. They mm. are dressed for fair. Yes. For going out like yes. in the... Not the most... Uh, Expensive clothes, but not, uh, not the work, working, clothes. working clothes either. Yes. So over the T-shirt, you take a jacket and you go out. Yes. This would be like a Friday trip to the mall, and this is also yeah. You can see the ferry. You can see a little bit of a dance in the back. It seems so. I think. I see. I don't a, know. I don't. I, I don't see think a so. huge belt here. Yes, these are uh, from Apusen Mountains, mm -hmm. uh, maybe in one of the uh, fairs, the cities in, in Apusen Mountains. It's an uh, uh, interesting uh, region because they have uh, gold mines, so sometimes they are... Yeah, they are very rich. They are very rich, yes. um, But uh, are they wearing uh, a skirt, the men? Uh, no, they are trousers, you can see the... <laughs> ah, they are very large trousers. <laughs> very large trousers, yeah. Okay, why? They have uh, fabric. They have they fabric. Have, they want okay. to show this. Oh dear! This is a. Uh, yes. I remember this expression from a train. Oh dear, 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 dear. Um, we see two strong men and a lady, and she's carrying all the weight. Uh, yes, two bags, because we know it's not only one bag. It's uh, another bag on the other side, to balance the weight. It's a bag. It's a basket and. Uh, why it's a uh, wine? No, I don't think it's wine. It's, it's water. Uh, no, I, I maybe this is uh, empty. It's uh, maybe so with food. Maybe the liquid was sometimes. So uh, usually uh, women uh, brought food, food and the in the field in the for uh, the workers, and maybe this is the the same uh, idea. So maybe they were working, their tools are uh, somewhere hidden, yes, we cannot see them. They are just for the photo, I don't think yeah. they are so... Uh, uh, unpolite. Unpolite, yes. No. So she brought them uh, food, uh, maybe some uh, uh, chorba <laughs> and bread and so on. And uh, So uh, it's important to mention that uh, the land was not Near Always the, near the house. Yes, yes. The house uh, is surrounded by other uh, neighbors, and we have a backyard with for animals. Yes, and a small farther, garden. Farther on, you have a, a small garden with vegetables and everything you need. Yes, and uh, but the cereal. Uh, uh, cereals, and uh, they have to collect a lot of uh, grass for animals, especially in the mountain. And uh, this. They have to uh, go farther. Uh, yes, go farther. And, uh, also Bistrița region. Oh, very nice aprons. Yes, very nice uh, sheep skin uh, vests. And, and very and nice so uh, pieces for uh, wrists, yes. which we also have and like. And uh, this can be found uh, in Ukraine, in Lithuania, in Poland. I mean, it's not unusual. If you have your wrists protected, uh, you feel much warmer of as course. a whole. Of yes. course. And, um, we can also see a belt here. Sometimes they were ornated with beads, and beads was also beads were also or metallic thread. Sometimes their yes. heads are also ornated with beads. Yes, these are uh, young uh, uh, boys and girls. Uh, maybe at a wedding, maybe or who knows? Uh, 
just a, a dance uh, um, Sunday. It's a pity, it's a shame that we cannot see these photos in color because mm. the colors would be very bright for this region. Yes. They would I be turquoise. So. Um, pink, uh, bright pink, bright fuchsia. green. <laughs> so. yeah. And the same for these ladies, you might find surprising accents on the sheepskin vests, also bling bling, very colorful. They have mm. heads. Yes, this is a particularity. This is in the south of Transylvania, over the uh, Fogarash Mountains, um, a region famous for onion. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for the weaving, because they emphasize on uh, woven fabric with various texture. It's not plain fabric. It's always yes. Um, south part of Transylvania was uh, um, a part of the empire in which uh, the in textile in industry was favorized. They have uh, a uh, long history from medieval time. They made uh, very fine uh, uh, wool uh, fabrics. But in the 18th, 19th century, uh, textile industry developed very much. And they made also uh, cotton uh, thread and fabric. They are, they're still uh, following and this tradition. Yes. Um, I could see in Brasov, um, um, commem commemorative uh, uh, board stating that the first textile factory in Brasov opened in 1823, so we have 200 Shared years of textile, um, yes. which is quite uh, early, if you think, yes. 1823. Yes, but uh, we have to understand that that was an, uh, a fabric, but the guilds are very uh, long before. Ah, of course, yes. no, uh, modern factory with engines. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, we can see here the Sibiu, Marginimea, the other uh, South yes. Transylvanian Married region. Yes, from Sibiu. Yes. But uh, actually this uh, photo, the um, right photography, um, it, um, it's important to understand that these women were not uh, Paisan like every peasant, they were uh, in a very uh, higher status, uh, higher status, and uh, uh, powerful community. This is from Poiana Sibiului, and this lady maybe the 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 other one, the young ladies were maybe the uh, teacher. part uh, the teacher and part of um, women associations. And, oh, uh, so they they had so a. They wear this costume not because they are peasant and want to show their status in the traditional community, but, so but solidarity, with solidarity with and uh, express the national uh, uh, ideas and yes. identity. Um, oh, this is a photo that I like very much um, because I like the sh this shirt. Yes. Okay, and um, we can see here the apron in front and. Uh, the old one, old kind of apron, Zadia, as we call it. In can we part. can we see what a real one? Oh, exactly, one? The, exactly the same uh, region. Yes. Okay. We have this. So we have the color, and uh, this is the one in the back. Yes, this is. It's a the same. Uh, <laughs> the same type. Type of. Uh, so it's apron. very long. Yes. And it is quite we, stiff. We it it's made of wool. It's a nice texture. And, uh, and probably in front you prefer something, a fabric which is more fluid and helps you uh, walk, but also uh, it's an influence from other uh, communities uh, and uh, from uh, urban uh, fashion. And they prefer to change and modernize uh, borrowing uh, the apron in front. And uh, um, it's easy to wear but also uh, it's an uh, industrial fabric which is a sign of a statue. Um, here is the interior of the house showing a lady preparing dinner or yes. warming up for the dinner. Um, I like these ovens very much and I feel such a regret that they disappeared from the homes. Yes, Because it's, it's a whole see. universe around the, um, this um, oven it's almost half of a room yes and you have storage you have uh, cats in a corner you have mm -hmm. bed on top of it mm -hmm. so it's a whole mm -hmm. universe according to the season and um, um, it's very nice and warm to sleep on top of it after 
dinner. So yes. it's very sustainable, let's say. Oh, you yes. don't have to oh, warm yes. up all the room. Uh, it's enough to, uh, yeah. to sleep on the... And sometimes uh, this kind of uh, ovens uh, are made as... Uh, uh, so you can uh, warm different rooms with yes. one fire. They communicate uh, through, uh, the walls. through the walls and you can uh, make one fire to heat up two rooms. And this is another type on the corner. Yes. Um, I studied this for architecture, so <laughs> the, the types are here are clear. Uh, but here is a lady has a Audrey and Hepburn silhouette, let's say, seen from afar, but she's a lady going to take care of potatoes in the field. She's yes. wearing a hat. Um, she's from the south of Transylvania. The south part of Transylvania, yes. Brasov County. Brasov County. Did we see this fashion on our side of the mountains, here in the south, in uh, Rukar Bra? Yes, yes, they are very close and uh, related. Uh, they exchange uh, traditional... Uh, so they are uh, on, on the border, communicating mm -hmm. on the border. There are custom clearance on Rukar Bra. Yes. And people um, had more money than... Others, let's say they had advantages in terms they of have, taxes or uh, privileges, and yes, and uh, the uh, um, communication through mountains was very important. Uh, uh, traders uh, used to uh, transport uh, big quantities of uh, thread, fabric, and so on, and other materials, of course, but we are. Um, here are the man and the, I don't know, a teacher or a friend. I, I have no idea why they are mm -hmm. posing together. I don't uh, know the story behind this photo. Do you know it? No, I don't know it. Maybe so he's one of the people doing the research and they decided to take a photo together because this man Maybe. is wearing a very, very, very old fashion shirt with red and black thread included uh, uh, every yes, 20 and centimeters Not only the so. shirt, the objects he's wearing in the belt are uh, a sign of archaic uh, fashion and also that um, uh, kerchief, it's also uh, an archaic way of uh, okay. wearing the, the outfit. Yes. yes. Wow. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Tell us. Well, uh, this is from Hatseg region. Is uh, it close to Paduren? Uh, very close to Paduren, yes, and uh, uh, related styles of costume with archaic uh, elements. The shoes are very archaic, at, uh, this uh, opinch. Um, also, these uh, coats over uh, the costume made of wool are very uh, archaic. Is it felted wool? Uh, yes, yes, of, okay. of course. Uh, and um, uh, unfortunately, we cannot see the shirts, but I'm sure they have beautiful embroidery at the end of the sleeve and also at the color. color. Uh, and uh, different kind of uh, sheepskin coats, is, they are not too uh, the same. Uh, like the same here. Yeah, they're, they're the very different. And um, the ethnographer who studied this region in that period and made this uh, photography tell us that it's a very diverse zone. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, not an uniform. Yes, of course. It's not an uniform, uh, not even when they make very similar shirts, it's not the same. Uh, I think we can uh, understand this idea even better here, when we, we can see how many types um, of... It's hard to understand for me because... Uh, they look like I, several layers or... Uh, no, they, they are not from the same region, I think. I think this might, might be a, a photography taken in uh, some other uh, context, different context. Okay. So but I they look very interesting they, yeah, as well. Yeah, they are very interesting. They, they were, all of them uh, have very old and uh, traditional costumes. Um, but this new element of... Uh, or is not new? No, it's not new. Uh, that, well, this is just... Um, um, a cover for the... For no, the it's not a cover, uh, it's a... Uh, uh, belt, little belt. A, a, a little belt uh, uh, under the... Uh, under the knees? Knee. Yes. Oh, really? So Why would you do is, that? Th these are trousers and uh, just 
to keep the trousers oh. up and uh, this is a very old uh, way of wearing trousers with a, a little belt okay we we know this from medieval time in all Europe. i will try this to see what's happening with my extra long oh okay nice um you, i think we can see it here also yes yeah. right and here and here but these guys are wearing something else yes um, we can see here also the uh, old type of hat this kind of hat uh, in Romanian we, we call it pălărie cu gang hard to translate but it's the shape it's uh, very old uh, but it's not uh, necessarily Romanian typically Romanian this was uh, Europe central European fashion that uh, was equal uh, in our equal parts in our part also, yes. this I like this guys if I was man in Transylvania I would have liked to to be to dress like this especially like this one I don't know which one is the <laughs> best but all, all they have an, a very nice attitude Yes, of and course. I think these costumes uh, gives you a posture and yeah. attitude. It's an important moment for them because it's not every day they take a photo now as we do yes, our days. Yes. And you have to be very careful how you stay. How yes, you uh, I, I must uh, say something. Uh, sometimes they are very... Um, Reluctant? Uh, yes, because... Um, uh, when they saw picture with them or uh, when uh, the ethnographer, the ethnomusicologist uh, took uh, sound from the field and they listened to them, they were very scared. They believed that uh, they, they stole not the sound but the spirit of them. So In a way they did. Yes, yes. Because their spirit <laughs> yes, is, uh, but can the, be here with us. This reflects the, uh, the um, archaic uh, uh, mentality. Yes, to capture some of your personal expression, yes. uh, either through sounds that you make, through clothes that you wear. Yes. And sometimes, um, and this is a very archaic uh, problem, uh, the shadow of the man is very important. And uh, you can make magic by measuring the shadow of the people. With, so even the shadow, it's an alter poop. ego. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <Then it poop. laughs> exactly. Oh, we are Maramuj. clear now north part of Romania. Of I like the sheepskin vests because they are brown. Yes. But I like them for themselves. I would prefer a white one. Well. Okay, <laughs> but I like as uh, they bring color to this costume otherwise uh, yes. white. They have embroidery uh, but uh, with uh, white thread. Yes. And you can Little we cannot see here it and in, there. Uh, in uh, in these pictures, uh, you can see uh, not so long but very uh, large trousers mm -hmm. and uh, short uh, shirts, which is also an um, influence uh, from the central part of Europe. You'll see these short uh, shirts, uh, men shirts in uh, Slovakia and so on. Mm -hmm. What about them? Mm. Well, uh, this guy, we saw it <laughs> before. Yeah. Uh, very beautiful uh, and archaic uh, shirts. We know this because we understand that uh, what kind of shirts uh, they are. Uh, the, we can see the, the um, tailoring, the archaic tailoring for men's shirts with barburi. Uh, Gores. We just found out that wow. they have a specific name because they were not used only in Romania being used by all the people who needed mm -hmm. to ride a lot mm -hmm. uh, merchants um, nomadic shepherds warriors yes. mm -hmm. so from okay. denmark to palestina we have uh, many examples you can see here the belt under the ah, no, knee. i can see it better true, yes. true, true. and uh, there are more and there are beautiful more photos um, um i would yeah, the belts are, everybody has a belt and a chain. Do, do you think they had a watch? Not a watch, usually they um, uh, have uh, either a, a knife or an instrument to uh, make fire. Okay, Amnar, Kremenesi Amnar. Exactly. Um, what about the shoes? Because when I was a child and reading the stories, um, some of them would start with um, fleas. 
little insects that yeah, I know. drink your blood. <laughs> uh, wearing um, shoes of iron. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, and horseshoes of uh, steel. So, do you think as people were um, using horseshoes for the horses to protect their uh, nails and, yeah, for feet? No, yes. feet. Uh, do you think they, they had this idea to add um, metal pieces to their uh, yes, they, they use. shoes as yes. well? Because you said you needed to travel 20 kilometers from there to yes. there. If you have to do this uh, every week, how many pairs of shoes would you yes. change? Yes, uh, this kind of shoes or pinch uh, destroy very rapidly because the leather is uh, under your feet and uh, the, it will destroy very quickly if you don't protect it. And they use this kind of metal protections uh, either um, um, as horseshoe. Really? Yes. In shape of the Yes, in the shape. Mm -hmm. Or uh, for winter periods, they have uh, mâțe, this is the Romanian term, which have some claws, claws to walk on ice. Yeah, so they are called cats in yes. order to, to break the ice. Yes. Oh, nice. And if you don't uh, see the images and if you don't read the studies, you might imagine it's, it's all just a story. Yes. But this means that fleas we, travel a lot. <laughs> yes, we have in, uh, in uh, the collection of the museum this kind of... Uh, so, so you have the proof yes, that they yes, existed. Yes. But imagine that further in time, after 200 or 300 years from now, people might say this is a joke or a fantasy, mm -hmm. yes, but yes. we have to mention it. Story. Um, again, I want to... Oh, mm -hmm. it's... This is a very old type of... Uh, Code. Oh, maybe. This one? Yes, I think so. Uh, which is uh, not open in, in front of... Uh, so you can wear it only if you take over your head. I don't so somebody else uh, must uh, help you get dressed. Yes, and it's your in, wife, uh, it's in our hike uh, um, garment and you can find it also in the south uh, part of the uh, Europe. Oh, okay. Uh, in the, uh, in in the south Balkans? Of, yes, in Balkans. Yes. And sometimes oh. they wear the belt over that coat. Here? Yeah. Yes. These are uh, from Wash region in northeast part of Romania. Which is not Maramureș. Northwest, I'm sorry. Not Maramureș, very <laughs> different. Very different. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, Wash. Uh, hearing their music, knowing uh, their tradition and seeing uh, their costume and so on, uh, looks like an uh, island in the middle of uh, Romanian... Uh, and they're not areas. only Romanian, they are an island in the middle of yes, everything. Yes, yes, yes. They are very different. And uh, they claim a different identity and they, some other people say they are the true... Okay. <laughs> Let's not go in that direction. Let's not. Um, but mm. here is the... Um, oh, the same region, the bride. The bride. So your uh, hair becomes um, your um, status. You are a new... I mean, yeah, we have to bride, say... I imagine it takes 24 hours for your hair to be fixed like this. Will you wear it only for the wedding? Yes. And after the next day, will you? I don't know what but the wedding the would last day, three days. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, in uh, one moment of the wedding, they uh, change the headdress uh, oh. as a symbol. They become married women. Okay. But it's very interesting. We have to uh, say that uh, they make first a lot of. Uh, uh, little tales, and then they are. Uh, it's a network of. Uh, net, yes. They made this network. And very it's a time of meditation. If I was to stay here for 24 hours. Well, it's not. You, well, it's hours, a legend. But, uh, yes, I would have to stay for hours. I would mm -hmm. have. And unable to do anything else. It's the same procedure like for Hena uh, mm -hmm. painting on yes. the palms. It's a time when I have to reflect, and it's the last chance for me to escape this marriage if I don't want to. Because <laughs> okay. no! I have, I'm um, meditating or meditating. I'm, uh, I, I cannot move. Yes. I go into a state of, I have to see all my life and 
I have yes. really and usually success. you have uh, girls from your community and uh, married women who sings uh, traditional wedding songs which are not very uh, cheerful usually yeah, the so songs dedicated to, to the bride right. especially Farewell in the first part the of the day yeah. of the wedding day are a very uh, sad songs sad songs yes yes it's a departure you you leave your parents house your family your sister sometimes you yes, have to move to another village and yes. you would not visit every day like today yes yes exactly um another the they are still happy the wedding days is a bit farther on <laughs> yes uh, we can uh, see uh, different tailoring here which is also on uh, connection with the central european uh, so here is the, the moment they are uh, mm -hmm. maybe yes yeah well sometimes they wear this uh, address not so complex uh, uh, also in um, other uh, with other occasions i just wanted to ask you because i've heard this um, that happens in some regions it's not like you had a bridal dress only for that day like we have today mm -hmm. because you could wear your bridal uh, outfit a few years after the wedding yes because uh, even if you had one child you are still considered to be a young the bride costume is differentiated not by the um, shirt but especially the headdress and ornaments so the shirt is just a very beautiful shirt, shirt. but you can wear it, you will wear it uh, years after uh, yeah. the match. And uh, of course, some in some regions, uh, the archaic uh, uh, way of seeing uh, the life, things, and life passing. Um, uh, they wear this bright shirt also in the last journey. Uh, journey yes. So it is a shirt that uh, carries very powerful messages that only you know because you make it yourself yes. uh, this is not something that you'd buy you'd buy your shoes you'd buy your uh, apron but not the shirt the shirt mm -hmm. you'd make yourself nobody knows what you meditate about when you embroider it yes. it's a secret you don't share this secret yes uh, everybody might try to guess but no way it's a barrier and uh, you take this shirt with you in the most important uh, moments in um, Passing the moment when you transform from a child to a mature person, you get married and you you leave your parents practically. Yes. And um, from the moment you have to now you become on your own, let's say. And in the moment when again you say farewell to the new family you created. Yes. Uh, and uh, you go further to the next uh, journey awaiting for you, the next life. So you don't, obviously there is another life after this life. This is why yes. you go well prepared with a proper shirt, with a proper uh, good deeds that you, you yes. made during and this life. And a lot life. of rituals and... Uh, yes. So, and also an, an important moment to, uh, is when you are a godfather. Or, uh, so it's very important, almost... Uh, the, uh, the same All, as uh, yes, being a, yes. uh, because you bring uh, yes it's a responsibility it's a big responsibility being godparents um, a lady from the south uh, is she from a city she, she's close to a city uh, a big so town. in um, uh, Brasov region uh, the villages were very close to the town and very well linked Okay. Culturally, economically, and uh, so on. Uh, so uh, they are not in a town, but uh, it was so close to the town, and their life was uh, very similar with an urban uh, life. Um, this is from, as, as we said, the uh, Brasov region. They have a very um, vaporous. <laughs> Short. Although it's very cold, probably they want to take advantage of the yes, few uh, warm days in the they summer. They have a lot of garments over the shirt. So probably this but is... But also they wear something underneath. Yes, for modesty and see. also because it's really too cold yes, to wear of course, this. Yes, region again. Your favorite now? Oh, yes, <laughs> one of the favorites, yes. I promise, I promise in front of everybody. 
that I will take her to, as soon as we finish with the uh, discussions mm -hmm. that we prepared for videos, I will start drawing Hatsek Vitrin. You saw a lot of pictures, you understand why I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> I like them as well, but um, I yes. need time for that. Mm -hmm. And this starts to look similar with the south of Romania, uh, yes. with Muschel region, because mm -hmm. they are on the other side of the mountains. Yes, and uh, they have strong uh, connections. connections economically and even uh, families that are uh, in, both parts. in both parts. So if you mistaken them from as being from Muschel by the shirts, yes, a we, little bit, the aprons, the aprons will make the difference. Do you exactly. think the apron is more um, giving you uh, more information than the shirt? Is it more conservative? Uh, some of the ethnographers say so. And uh, okay. they consider this is more important to define the, the define an uh, ethnographic region than the shirt, which mm -hmm. is, well, <laughs> um, yes, it it's depends. It depends, but um, let's have a look about um, the um, west line of Transylvania where they're bordering Moldova, and we know from history that during Stefan the Great 500 years ago, there were many boyars, aristocrats mm -hmm. from Moldova that had properties in Indeed, Transylvania, and the, uh, and the same happened in the south of Transylvania. Mm -hmm. For a while, um, the places like Fogaraj, uh, they used of to belong of the Valachia. So there were exchanges, there were influences, and along these um, narrow places where you could cross the mountains, mm -hmm. because they are not easily, yes, not even today. Yes, um, and we can see. Um, the sheepskin vest is uh, uh, Yes, it's uh, specific for it's Mold Moldova. Uh, and also this kind of... Um, around uh, the body. Around the body ap apron. apron, yes. Mm -hmm. It's specific for Moldova. And uh, there are different ethnographic regions where we can see these um, influences in Hargita County and Covasna County. Yes, um, it's very interesting to see that the blouses on the chest, this is mm -hmm. a very fast indicator. The, you use um, four stripes of fabric for the shirt, and all of them are treated equally with an embroidery. So you have it uh, over the shoulder, let's say, and over the chest. Mm -hmm. And it's not continuous like we see in other parts yeah. of the country. It's an interesting um, um, look. Maybe here can uh, yeah. be observed better. It's a quick indicator. So if you see something like this, they are from Western Transylvania. Yes, of course. Yes. Oh, mm. and they are for, <laughs> from Western Transylvania. Yes, and it's a very beautiful example of uh, mixing uh, influences. Uh, we can see a uh, sheepskin coat made in Bistrița. Okay, uh, the, the here. Room. Yes, this is... The only sheepskin coat. Yes. Uh, the shirt, some of the uh, most, the oldest shirts in the picture are uh, specific for Transylvania, the one with uh, Fodor and diamonds and uh, yes, uh, pattern over the elbow. And uh, the, the, this is an influence from uh, Moldavia also, uh, but the uh, apron is specific from Moldova. So we have also Transylvanian and uh, Moldavian. And uh, even the lady who is taking the composition of the um, Eastern shirt, Moldovian mm -hmm. shirt, she will keep the Fodor. Yes. Fodor yes, is... Yes. Um, Gabi, how do you say Fodor? Hi? Raffle. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Gabi. You. Raffle, uh, we call it Fodor. This mm -hmm. is uh, big and Transylvanian. So it's a mix. Unfortunately, uh, you barely find uh, shirts like this nowadays, they are lost. And it would be another priority for us to recover the patterns. If we have, if you have such shirts in the museum, we would... Yes, we have. Because look... And I also have in my collection, so... Ah, so, we are safe. Uh, look at them, you can mm -hmm. see the apron is a Barbie-like silhouette. It's not the hourglass silhouette, I call it Barbie-like silhouette, okay. because like it's like a pencil skirt. And... Um, I like it very much. It's my favorite uh, type of uh, apron. And look mm -hmm. here, you can see the, the beauty of the um, diamonds over the elbow, but then other elements coming. I think these ladies are very pretty. Yes, uh, the one in the uh, left 
uh, shayad, uh, has a, a headdress which uh, is influenced by the um, Hungarians or Saxon in the region uh, under the uh, uh, kerchief she has an, another piece which is called kaitza kaitza oh oh this is on the opposite side to Apusen the mountains, Apusen yes. mountains uh, north part of Apusen mountains this is something yes. so elegant and refined when i mean because i know s such pieces for for uh, for real i've yes. seen them for real it's very difficult to um, to explain the beauty through these old photos because you cannot see the details and the uh, fine textures. textures yes and along the um, after, under the elbow you can see this uh, yeah. lines of embroidery which are very very fine yes uh, you, this is a very good photography to understand the way these shirts were uh, worn yes so they are the sleeve is long but it's not were uh, as long as it is but uh, lifted lifted yes uh, is this the land of the alpenhorns mm, yes nearby yes 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 so they use is there any uh, similar um, element or let's say spine along the alpine cultures from the switzerland from france to the apusen mountains mm, i don't think so you can connect the costumes well, not the costumes no. ah. the lifestyle the uh, alpine horns yes the, the, the occupations are similar they uh, have uh, sheep and uh, other animals mainly sheep um, the, there are similarities uh, in um, wood uh, crafts and techniques. Mm -hmm. uh, similarities uh, regarding the architecture and working with uh, wood and so on. So yes, there are some. But we are, we are in the same European family. <laughs> so here is a working day sheepskin vest. Because yes. so far we've seen uh, celebration day. Yes. Uh, uh, is uh, interesting. We see uh, very urban and modern uh, elements, like uh, the children are dressed in very modern costumes. Uh, in between the uh, mother, I think uh, maybe she's the mother, and these are the grand uh, parents. Grandparents, yes. uh, she has a traditional shirt, homemade, but with strong urban influences. The techniques. Firstly, and the, the cut, the cut, of oh, no. course. Uh, no, the um, not the cut. The collar is the turned, collar is turned. Even even the cut. Also, you can see the old lady has a uh, type of cut, and she has different type of cut. Yeah. Uh, the uh, sh uh, sleeves Dave. are uh, smaller and so on. So this is an, three uh, generation in yes, a three generation with three different uh, costumes. A large region, wow, beautiful. this is a region we will uh, talk uh, mm -hmm. later, but just to uh, quickly understand why we need to treat uh, Bihor and uh, Arad, the western fields, oh, large, the western yeah. plain of Romania, differently. Mm -hmm. And this is the we gore that this. we talked about it, and I can't wait for the uh, cutting pattern lessons mm -hmm. to explain how this yes. is born and extra excess of extra excess <laughs> extra fabric for the sleeves they are almost mm -hmm. one meter in total yes. um Apusen mountains we have Apusen. this is uh, again excess of jewelry on uh, yes this is a young lad from uh, a village near cluj really yes okay Felak. Felak? okay so is he a groom or something special or just not necessarily just okay. uh, him, uh, maybe um, a carol singer. They have okay. also uh, ah. ornaments. So they are dressed up, but I don't mm. see. I see him in a summer uh, outfit. I also go singing carols without uh, sometimes okay. you warm people, up. <laughs> you people are uh, different, and uh, mm -hmm. they this are. This is another story uh, because. Um, um, this express a uh, very important uh, outside influence of uh, intellectuals, 
uh, understood the value of the traditional culture and they construct their national identity uh, founding on uh, traditional culture and um, they somehow uh, influenced the... They wanted to support... Yes, but um, uh, these all, all kind of influences have... Um, goods and bads. Uh, goods and bads, yes. And yes. you can see here Kalushari, uh, hard to translate. A ritual that <laughs> yes. is enlisted in UNESCO because it is very okay. old. Yes, uh, but which mm -hmm. was not uh, specific in Transylvania as in south part of uh, Romania. Uh, and there are mixed uh, elements. These belts in cross are not typically for Transylvania, but they borrowed them. So, but um, it's okay because um, it's okay because we have what to mix at least. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, we have to do it with care, and um, there is a long, long way until uh, we are going to be able to recreate pieces like this. Um, but for the moment, uh, we concentrate on shirts, hoping yes. that step step. Uh, our activities will inspire further and future generations to uh, recover other beautiful things that were lost uh, during communism. And not necessarily because of industrialization, but because of collectivization and um, Yes, and also because of modernizing the mind of people. So it's a, it's a my natural process. I feel process. that my mind is very modern, yes. yet I consider this is beautiful. Yes, yes. But I need time and materials in order to make it. And during communism, this was quite impossible. Yes. So I think industrialization and the progress in technology in textile industry is only helping me yes. to recreate this. I don't find uh, industry as an enemy. Uh, no, it, it, but the political it is not. regime and mm -hmm. the um, uh, mindset of society changing. Mm -hmm. This I find is uh, that's an the an most enemy. important mindset was mindset. focused on modernity, not on preserving uh, identity beauty and culture. Beauty. Thank you very much, Sebastian. And let's talk soon about the the symbols that we find on um, all our clothes okay. and uh, traditional objects. A difficult discussion. <laughs>